Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED, S5507. To see the internals of this device, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. Note that the two in the middle are hidden under small caps, which you need to unglue first. Use a lever tool to lift the panel behind the two hinges. Press the hinge and pop the panel to create a gap. Work around the sides and front, but don't pry the rear. Lift the front of the panel and push it slightly backward. If this doesn't work, you may need to pry the back. Be aware that the vent cover is attached to the bottom panel, so pop its top section below the lid's lower part where the internal clips are. On the inside of the bottom plate, we can see a dust filter for the ventilation grill. The battery is a 70 watt hour model. To remove it, pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the five Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The capacity is enough for 15 hours of video playback. The result is very good. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the standard fan mode in the My Asus app. You also have to use the dynamic refresh rate option. For storage, there is just one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The memory is soldered as well as the Wi-Fi card. You get 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of fast LPDDR5X, 8448 megahertz RAM. The Asus IceCool thermal system has two fans, a pair of heat pipes, a duo of top-mounted heat sinks, and a large heat spreader. You can easily remove the two fans or the cooling itself, Detach the fan connectors, and you also have to undo three Phillips head screws for the left unit and two for the right one.
untangle the two cables around the fan housings. Carefully remove the fans. The cooling is held in place by four Phillips head screws on the sides of the heat spreader. Gently lift the cooling with a lever tool. Now we can see the soldered memory modules and pre-applied soft thermal interface material, also known as thermal putty, for the other components around the SOC.